Sunday, June 30th, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, early this morning I received an email from a young lady by the name of Ruth from Guadalajara, Mexico. That would be north and west of Mexico City. I want you to pay attention to this bay right here. We're going to confirm a storm that occurred last night at the Ghost 16 weather radar that occurred around 1 o'clock in the morning that produced an unbelievable amount of hail. And the storm itself, from the looks of it on radar, did not look like anything out of the ordinary. But did it produce some extraordinary hail right here in this area? I want to read the email that was sent to me by Ruth. I received this this morning, Sunday, June 30th at 9.29 a.m. And these are the attachments, one video and four pictures that she sent to me from that area. She goes on to say hi, sharing these pictures and video clip from Tlacopac, Mexico of hail that fell this morning. And it started around 1 o'clock in the morning. A family friend sent it to her mother. She also has family that lives in the area that did confirm this weather event. Like I said, this cove right here on the west side of Mexico, we're going to confirm that cove right there here at the GO-16. That's the storm and that's the area that you're going to see some amazing photographs of three feet of hail. You're going to see cars and trucks that are nearly buried in hail. It's just not something you see every day. It truly is an unbelievable sight right here in this area here. That's the storm once again at its apex when it was probably around 40, maybe 45,000 feet. Wasn't anything, like I said, that we don't normally see on the GO-16 somewhere on a daily basis. But for whatever reasons, this storm system had an extraordinary amount of hail or produced an extraordinary amount of hail in it. Look at that. You're going to see semis here that are completely stuck in hail. They had to break out like heavy equipment, tractors and things like that to remove hail from the roads. That's a 18-wheeler that is buried in hail. Can't get the doors open. Look at that, all the way up to the hood. Just an amazing event. But if you look down this road here, let me back it up just a second. Look down that road and you can see the tires on that truck there. So it didn't affect the entire community, just certain areas got hit harder than others, like any other storm. But it's just hard to even comprehend this much hail coming down in one storm. It truly is. Look at that. I mean, it's just piled up in front of these businesses over here. The road's completely covered. You're going to see pictures of cars that are nearly completely covered. Again, not that storm. I'm sure it produced quite a bit of rain and hail. It's that storm system right there. And again, we see those on here on a daily basis. So there was something very unique about that storm. Here's a car, obviously buried in hail, completely covered the hood, can't open the doors. I mean, it's stuck. Look at that. Truly incredible. Here's a closer look at the same storm system right there around 1 o'clock in the morning. Lasted for about 40, 45 minutes, and then it cleared out. There's another picture of the yellow car parked in front of a full-size white pickup truck that is also stuck in the hail. This is just a different format of the same storm. Blue represents height. Height represents hail. And in this case, a lot of it. Here's two grown men standing in waist-deep hail, over three feet deep. The gentleman there needed some help getting out of this extraordinary weather event. See here, climbing up a ladder from some area. I mean, the terrain there temporarily looked like the surface of Antarctica. I mean, if you didn't know better, you would think if you were just looking at that, is that Antarctica or, or somewhere up in the Arctic? It's just an unbelievable weather event. You don't see this every day. Certainly don't see this every day. This is a tropical cyclone that's churning out off the west coast of Mexico out in the East Pacific. I don't think it had anything to do with the incredible hailstorm that occurred last night near Guadalajara. This is Hurricane or Tropical Cyclone Barbara. This is the second named storm of the year for the Eastern Pacific. It's forecasted to become a Category 2, but will not affect land. In fact, the farther north it drifts over the next few days, it's a slow-moving storm. That's why it's going to possibly become a Cat 2. It's going to weaken when it gets up into the cooler waters. But just on a side note, there is a tropical cyclone out there. I don't think it influenced that hailstorm that was, you know, 
300 miles away, which occurred right over there. I don't think it had anything to do with it. Could have influenced it in some way, but kind of doubtful. But nevertheless, there was an incredible hail event last night that occurred in Mexico, dropping three feet of hail in some places. I want to share a couple of photographs with you that were shared with me here recently. This was sent in by the Laughing Jasmine from Redding, California, of a perfect oval in the sky. She sent this photo in a couple of days ago. Excellent job, Jasmine. Thank you for sharing. And this one here is something you don't see every day. This was sent in by Mike R. from Sydney, Montana. And this is of a lightning strike that impacted a golf course in Sydney, Montana. And this is what it did to one of the holes. This is the green on one of the holes at the golf course that Mike uh, was at. And you can see how spider veins went out in all directions in fact it looks like lightning on the ground that's where it made contact with the ground at the golf course that mike noticed the other day i've had this photograph for about three or four days now mike sent this in again from sydney montana I want to thank you guys for sharing your photos you can send your pictures to reports at mr mbb 333.com thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there